Okay. So I think that, well, I mean, I've, and I've described it before. There is a condition that microphones can get called Jamie head disease. That's not what this is. No? No, I stepped on the microphone. Oh. <laughs> What and then you just then you tried to make that twisted shape. Yeah, I keep it on the floor on your human head where it belongs. I guess I don't know. That's that's where I keep it. I mean, what yeah. is the floor but a low shelf? That's the way I think of it. It's the lowest of shelves. Yeah. Uh, all right, are we recording. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, the whole the whole of the earth is is but a shelf. That's from Shakespeare. Uh, He's still killing it today. Let's see, playing Forza. For some reason, for some inexplicable reason. I looked this morning because I wanted to put it in my news post, how many hours I've played of it. 22 hours since Tuesday. That doesn't make any sense. It's crazy. Since what's Tuesday. Wrong, what's wrong with you? I Everyone know. knows that, that Forza is bad. I don't think that's true. But it's definitely not the sort of game I would play. So, Did you put anything up in your... My capture gallery? Yeah. Did you, did, you, did you put anything inside the uh, post? Not of my stuff. I posted that commercial that, I, that oh, okay. got well, I me should, interested I should in look. It. Do, do you have any cool stuff in there? No, I haven't captured anything. I don't know why. I, I haven't thought to. Well, I think it's because when you're playing a shooter, those moments are there yeah. all the time. And then with this, the moments are different. Well, and it, it, I feel like during a race, there's no time to stop. Like, if I do something cool, I, I, there's just another turn coming up right away. I got I to gotta keep going. Like, Yeah, I mean, what, I, what I've found is that even just watching, it's true when I play it too, but even when I watch you play one of those tracks, like my feet like curl into spheres. Oh yeah, the sense of speed is ridiculous. Yeah, like I get really tense. <laughs> I was playing last night and Kara's in the, in the seat next to me and I'm looking at the TV but I can see her feet like twitching and shaking. <laughs> Oh yeah, like going around corners. Well, yeah, it's very, it's just that mirror neuron simian thing, right? Yeah. Like, I just, I am controlling it too, and I, and I suspect that that's at the root of a lot of let's play stuff too. Yeah. You know, you see that happening, and then you're just you're along for the ride. I mean, th- I'm not like a race fan. I I like arcade racing games, but I've never watched a race, and so for me, the idea of how slow they go sometimes, I never really got that. Like. Like they have, you're going 150 miles an hour, and you basically have to stop. <laughs> well, for and my turn. part, yeah, for my part, that's definitely something that I mean. When I play a racing game, I play like very action oriented racing games. Yeah. So for me, for me, the top racing games, I loved. Was it Ridge Racer Four that had that almost RPG element? Ridge Racer Type Four, yeah. Yeah. Well, I had great soundtrack too, but it was. Remember, we were like leveling up, and the cars were improving. Yeah. It was fucking sick. Um, but you never stop or slow down. In a Ridge Racer track, if you're slowing down, you're probably not doing it because you're, you're probably not doing it correctly because its heritage is the arcade. Yeah, that one's about every turn is a is Drift. a power slide at 200 miles an hour. Exactly right. And then so for me, um, Project Gotham, mm. um, Ridge Racer Type 4, and um, Rally Sport. Yeah. From dice, like for me, those are the top ones, and these are not games where you ever slow down. And so the idea of racing as what a was di- the one that had like the special effect stuff where the cliff would explode? Point That's split second. Split second. Split second is genius. Split second was good. Same deal there though. Yeah. Right. They are all. They are and burn all. Out. Fundamentally, they're all. You know, they can trace their lineage back to pole position. Right. You know, there's one speed. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, for me, those are the, that's what it's like. And so the idea of racing as a dynamic sport, like, who, who among us, you know, has not made the NASCAR jokes? But yeah. the, the idea of racing as something that has this gradient and has these moments of true technical prowess alongside this balls-out shit, yeah. I feel really stupid. yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I did not understand racing. I feel stupid. <laughs> I didn't get it. Yeah, right. I mean, there's a track I did last night where you're coming out. You're coming down this hill, and you can see the turn way down below you. You know, 300 yards away or so, and you're just braking for hundreds of yards. 
Oh, just just, just to, sliding down this hill so that you can catch that turn at the right angle. Oh, and because and you actually have, you have to account for that gradient too. Yeah, just yeah. to get around the thing. It in feels one like piece. a roller coaster ride. It's just it's super fun. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, what's funny? I mean, now you you started playing football, or you started watching football, and then you started playing football games. I mean, I, I don't know. Is there? I don't even know that how you get into racing as a fan. Like, would I don't, you watch a race? I don't know. Yeah, would you? Oh, the the race is on. <laughs> I got to make sure that the cars. You know, I, I don't. I don't even know what that would look like. Yeah, I can't picture that yet. You pick. But manu- I am curious, you like pick what teams or manufacturers or how you pick. A, I think you pick drivers, don't you? I don't know. Maybe, but I think the drivers are so deeply associated with the teams and That's brands. That's true. They are brands. Yeah, they are. When they go out there. They're festooned. They're covered in brands. Brands on brands on brands. Brands on brands on brands. But I don't. I don't know. I've. I have really enjoyed. I've really enjoyed this phase, you know, and I, I played a little bit more Forza. I played a little bit more of the last Forza than you did because I've, I've had, I mean, I've had decent experiences with it. You always think that this is going to be the time where you really get into the livery editor and right. make some crazy shit. But I mean, I don't even have this. I don't have the skills for that. I, well, I don't either. I don't know who has the skills for that. That's a fucking. That's a game. Yeah, that's something else entirely. That's not just like. Graphic design and drawing. There's well, another no, part the, of the brain at work there. Yeah, I was gonna say. So you know, when you're talking about someone who makes these vinyls, and they're building the vinyls, like really complex vinyls, they're building them out of these primitives. It's insane. Yeah. I have to say, I don't have that. I don't have that. Yeah. Whatever that is, I don't have it. I mean, are they? Uh, do you think that? Do you think that they're going to the technical level of doing grids or grid outs? Like when you're a kid and you sort of like, you try to copy one square at a time from a picture? I don't know how it's done. I know there's videos of people doing it, but when I look at it, I can't imagine. I can, I can see it. Like I can picture in my head how I would go about doing it. But the idea of taking the time to do it yeah, yeah. is is insane to me. Like I say, I mean, the, way I, the way I think that you would interface with it probably is to get, I think that you might make one or two vinyls. I don't even know. I, I messed around there yesterday for a while, and it, it's just, it's not for me, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, not even applying, not even, like, applying them and going crazy. I'm saying that you might have a symbol that you like on your car. Oh, yeah, I, I might do stuff like that. Yeah. You might do a symbol. But yeah. the idea of the full, the full painting and, like, the real, I mean, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm not sure that that is for you, but it's infinitely more for you than it is for me. I, I'd be most likely to go into the community section. And I, I think that that is, that's, like, the bummer it's a typical thing. I'm not going to complain about it for very long, but I would say that if if you're in a position to review the gameplay, that's all there. But a big part of Forza, even going back to the Xbox, is the community interplay, and not just in multiplayer, but getting designs. Yeah, none of that cars. stuff is uh, hooked up yet, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I mean that's that that's not in the game now. Th- They've clearly had some community pros in there, you know, putting basically sort of salting it with yeah. a few tunes and stuff like that. But no, it's way, way, way cooler. Also, the idea that my drive avatar is out there earning money for me. Well, yeah, and the drive avatar that we hate. Oh, we hate uh, like Dave's drive avatar. David Kaufman is insane. I mean, apparently he spent a lot of time. He played a lot of four and five, I guess. Mm-hmm. And so that's why his drive avatar can pull out last second wins. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. But yeah, we, we, we did a, a, the last Forza strip that we did on that was pretty good, I thought. Which one was that? I remember well, we did a strip about drive avatar. Yeah, right? yeah. It was about how your drive avatar is a jerk also. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's absorbed more than just your turning. I think it comes out Tuesday, so a, a strip Monday would be good timing, but... It would, but it's like... I, mean, it's just a, I don't know there's anything funny about it. It's just a racing game. Yeah, but I'd be, I'd be hesitant. I mean, it may be that you're right, and it may be that you know, we can't get all the way there, but by the same token, I think that we have made comics about impossible... <laughs> you know what? There might be something in things you know, before. That idea of... So you look at the mod packs there, and the mod packs are definitely tantalizing. <laughs> Any any time I have an opportunity to buy a pack of cards, I'm oh, gonna no, do it. They're bad. Yeah, it doesn't matter where. I don't or, care. Or if the cards are real or not doesn't real. Doesn't matter. Give me a pack of cards. <laughs> I don't want to look at them. Uh, but the idea when you and you were like, oh, would you play a Forza game like on the iPad that was just cards? 
Yes. Oh, shit, yeah. Yes, I would. I would oh, do that in a heartbeat. God. Well, it's, it's like um, it wasn't 100% cards, but I mean, I just, I love the metaphor. And it's like the more abstract it gets, the more I like it. Yeah. So when we were on stage at PAX and they were like, hey, you could take any team, any brand, any franchise, do what you want with it for the next version. And it's like, turn based Madden, are you fucking kidding? Oh, yeah. In a heartbeat. You know, and they're not going to deliver that on the console, but no. they could deliver that on a fucking iPad. Yeah, yeah. They already have the backup. I mean, you 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 just ha- you have all the cards. Like their system for monetizing this is already in there. Well, it's there was that f- that Frozen Synapse. What was that game? Frozen. Yes, Frozen Synapse. Frozen yeah, but it wasn't. Synapse. But that but that's more like rugby. It's not. No, no, it wasn't. Fo- I'm saying all I'm saying is that was an indicator. Like if you took that and actually did football. You know, with that mindset. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Hey, mm. hey, there's a couple other, there's a couple games, <laughs> just historically, like before you were into board games, that you might have really liked. Probably not. No, no, no. I, you would have. But I wasn't into board games before I was into board games. Well, obviously that much is true. I'm saying that now. Well, you're saying, had I been into board games before you that. You should be a true proficient. I'm, <laughs> but I'm saying that... Um, Blood Bowl and Dread Ball are oh, basically... I've heard of these. Yeah, they're basically turn-based types of football. Dread Ball is a little bit more like basketball, rugby, or something. Blood Bowl is basically f- like fantasy football, but like orc fantasy. Yeah. And it is surprisingly engaging. <laughs> well, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, it's a oh. tactical game. Oh, my gosh. It so is. My, it, my problem is... You know, and, I, and I, I was talking to Jeff about this when we were, I, he took me to a game. Yeah. And we're watching it, and he's calling out, like, you know, the flag goes down, and he's like, oh, that was holding on this guy. What? Yeah. And then he the, can perceive that from the fucking stands? That's what I said. And he's like, well, part of it is where the flag comes from tells you which referee saw it. Oh. And each referee is sort of looking for different things. Fuck you, Jeff. But also, he's just able to watch the game at that speed and interpret it better than that, I can, right? Like, I can watch the quarterback, I can watch him try to throw the ball, and then I look and see if someone is open. Like, who is he throwing it to? Whereas Jeff is like, oh, that guy was open. Like, he beat his defender. No, for me, it's like a, when I watch that game, and I enjoy watching it. Yeah. It's like a pinhole camera. Right. I only see the ball. Yeah, and so having making it turn-based, like, I want that tactical... What, you know, element to it. Yeah. I like the idea of football. Right. I just don't. I don't, I can't process it as fast as these people. Yeah. Can. What I mean, that's what the abstraction would let you do. Right. But, I mean, in a in a real way, the abstraction would let you see football. Yeah. Well, and that's why I like the um, the iPad version. It's not a complete simulation with cards, but you know, when I put my wide receiver here and his. Uh, score on his card is 76 or whatever and this guy who's defending him his score is 33 like i know percentage wise it's like in final fantasy tactics when you mouse over a guy it's like you have a 78 percent chance to hit this guy totally right same deal yeah i love the and honestly i like the card packs and i'm sure that and i've definitely read but jeff just knows that he looks at the guy like he looks at the wide receiver and he looks at the defender and he's like oh i know their comparative matchup like Oh, yeah. I mean, even on the line, like there's so much data in the line that I don't get at all. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's just like there's one person in front. <laughs> like just one very long person. Yeah. <laughs> I think there could be a comic, though, in that, in that let's put cards in this racing game. Oh, yeah. Now I'm just, now I'm obsessed. Like I would love to play that so much. Yeah. There are a couple. Formula, uh, Formula Day is a, a racing uh, board game that's really fun. So, Basically, you roll dice. That's how you get around. Mm-hmm. But you don't. You want to hit those turns with a big dice, right? So the the game is about upshifting and downshifting dice. That sounds pretty good. Yes, it is, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds real good. Oh man, it's so cool and smart. Um, but yeah, yeah. So let's see this. It's like obviously you want those. Right, obviously, mm-hmm. you want to tear open those packs. I want to tear open. There's those nothing. Packs. That, I mean, I, 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 does the joke come from the fact that you want packs in everything? Yeah, I think that might be it. Right, like yeah, that just there's, give no- me packs. there's nothing that is not improved by packs. I think that's probably true. Yeah, there's nothing that's not Im- <laughs> that's not improved by uh, collectible icons. 
that are in, stored in flimsy wrappers. That's right. It's everything. All things. Yeah. Christ, you're still playing Forza 6? Don't, don't you know it's a racing game? <laughs> Do you know it's a racing sim? Oh, I know. No, no, haven't, no, 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 why, why are you still playing Forza 6? Haven't you been able to determine? <laughs> it's a racing sim. <laughs> Can't help it, man. It's got card packs. What? <laughs> don't you tease me. I swear to God, man. <laughs> I'm buying packs. I'm opening shit. There's crew members in there. Parts for my car. How many packs can you buy at one time? Man, I would love that. I would especially like I would love to be able to play those cards. Like now that the cards are there, yeah. I just keep seeing other places that they could be used, not just in Forza, but indeed in real life. <laughs> uh, but no, specifically in Forza. That Drivatar, you should be able to equip cards to the Drivatar. I mean, there should be Drivatar cards. Oh! You know, I mean, they they fucked this up already. Yeah, I should be up. able to equip a set of cards to him that says he's aggressive. Yeah, because he's playing. Right. I mean, he's playing the whole time you're not playing, and he's bringing you money. Yeah, I should be able to play a card on him that gives me a bonus in the same way that I equip the existing car. Exactly. Like there should be all there should be all kinds. I would of also stuff. love to watch a replay of. <laughs> Like what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would, would at least like to know what he placed. I'm proud. Like it's <laughs> nice when they come back and they're like, hey, he earned you this much money. Yeah. All yeah. right. How did he do? <laughs> is there anything that is not improved by the addition of card packs? Villains. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, even villains would be improved. But but it, I'm thinking about that middle panel. You're like, I can't help it. Sex is pretty good already. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's... Even that. Yeah. I don't know. Sex is pretty good. No, think about it. Think about it. Oh, shit, you're right. That would be way better. <laughs> it's like moves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you show some cards? Yeah. Do you show some cards or do you just let people think about it? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure it out, right? Yeah. Feelings. Is there... Oh, sex is pretty good. No. <laughs> But think about it. Uh oh, looks like you drew the three-hour hand job card. Oh man, <laughs> got back to back. <laughs> it's true, man. God damn these villains! <laughs> is there anything that is not improved by the addition of card packs? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> it would be cooler with cards. <laughs> It would be cooler with would, cards. <laughs> That's a good line. I don't know. Sex is pretty cool. It would be cooler with cards. <laughs> That's good. So are, are we are we okay with this? Like, I mean, it's like, wait, because like, it's gonna be different stuff that like happens to your dick, right? It'd be like underglow, lasers. <laughs> <laughs> are we good with this? I mean, is this? I think you end it with it would be better with cards. You think? Absolutely. That's funny. It's so quick. I don't know. Sex is pretty good. It would be better with cards. Yes. In italics? Yeah. If you're going to do anything, I think it just has to be like, no joke. <laughs> I don't know. Sex is pretty cool. Here, yeah, I was just trying to figure out how the, um, like how it, how it was laid out. And before that stuff was in two, so it didn't flow right. But oh. now that that stuff is bumped down, I think it's all right. I can't okay. this carpet. God damn these villains. <laughs> Seriously. Is there, is there anything... What? In this world, that is not improved by the addition of card packs. Of collectible card packs. Collectible card packs. Is there... And manipulated scarcity. Is there anything on this earth <laughs> that is not substantially improved? Yeah, because Tycho, it's Tycho that's saying it would oh, be better with cards, right? Totally. Yeah, that's perfect, and I can make his face sell that. Yeah, yeah so I'm just, I'm just going to let his line in the middle panel breathe. Yeah. Don't, why, are you, why are you still playing Forza 6? Don't you understand it's a racing sim? Wait, did you fall asleep with your eyes open? Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, man, it's got card packs. I can't help it. It has card packs. God damn, these villains. Is, <laughs> is there anything on this earth not substantially... <laughs> Improved by the addition of collectible card packs. I don't know, sex is pretty cool. It would be better with cards. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I don't know. So, yep, I think we got it. Okay, cool. Oh, when I cast the pot, it's like I cast the rod, keeping it hard like a motherfucker gas robot. I'm really cod. Today's fresh catch. I mean a podcast. Something about nets. Yes, it gets better when it's winter. I'm fettered by my fish gear. Catch and release. Get in that crease when my fish near. Talk about a plant best laid off that stray. And yes, I crave that tuna with his peck fins blade. But while I'm glistening from the whole sea, you better listen into TLC. I got that. I got that wild caught salmon. It's tender and it's moist. Downloadable content. A podcast of choice. Yes. Yes.